Hello and welcome to Firewalls.com. My name is Brian Reed and in this video I'm going to give you a review of the SonicWeld TZ205 series UTM firewall appliance. First, who's the TZ205 designed for? It's specifically designed for small branch offices that need to have VPN connectivity back to a corporate network for retail locations that need to have a separate internal network to control their servers for PCI compliance. Some of the major features that you'll find in the TZ205 include it supports unlimited users, it comes with the wireless 802.11 and support for A, B, G, and N, has a built-in hardware failover so that you can have two units available in case one goes offline, your second unit will be available. You can include an anti-spam service so that if you're running your own email server on your network, you can control the spam right at the gateway. Includes logging and detailed reporting. And it has a native SSL VPN client for both Android and iOS devices. So this allows any user with any wireless device that is based on iOS or Android to have access back to the corporate network. It also includes 5 gigabit Ethernet interfaces and can be centrally managed, which is important for large deployments. It has advanced bandwidth management, so you can take control of which applications or services on your network can use whatever amount of bandwidth that you set it to allow. It supports dynamic DNS services. So if you have remote branch offices that are on dynamic IP addresses but you want to create VPN tunnels, you can use the built-in dynamic DNS service to make those connections. It has LDAP and RADIUS authentication. So if you're running, for example, Active Directory on your Windows network, you can tie the firewall authentication directly back into Active Directory. Plus it has advanced voice over IP features. So if you're using voice over IP phones, not only can you do bandwidth management, but there's also additional features built into the sonic wall to give you crystal clear voice over IP connections. Application control allows you to control what web-based applications users can have access to. So for example, salesforce.com or YouTube or any other kind of web-based application that's out there, you can control whether they can have access to it, and if so, you can, you can also specify the amount of bandwidth they can use for those connections. The content filtering in the sonic wall gives you full control over individuals or groups of users and to what websites they can visit and even at what time of day they can visit. And finally, like all UTM firewall appliances, there's gateway antivirus spyware and intrusion prevention services built into the unit to protect your users from downloading malicious uh, malware or email servers or web servers from intrusions. Now let's take a quick look at the physical items that are located on the sonic wall. Here on the left we can see the front panel of the TZ205 has all of our LED indicators showing us our network connectivity and the activity that's happening uh, on those connections. Then on the back side we've got a console port that's a serial connection to the command line interface of the Sonic OS firmware. And then we have five additional Ethernet ports. The first one is designated for your LAN port that connects to the network. The second one is your WAN or ISP connection. Then the last three interfaces you can use them however which way you want. So for example, you could use those other three for three additional WAN connections, or you could tie them all back to your primary LAN port and make it a little four port switch. Then finally, to give you a little comparison on the SonicWell TZ series, we've got three models available. We've got a 105, the 205, which we just spoke about, and then the 215. As you can see, the 205 has a couple advantages over the lower end model. First, it has a dual core processor which allows it to control more internet connections and give you much better throughput speed than you would on the lower end model. Plus, it has five gigabit ethernet interfaces compared to the five fast ethernet which you'll only find on the 105. 
Then on the wireless side, comparing the 105 to 205, the 205 also supports the A band, whereas the 105 just does B, G, and N. We hope you found this video useful. If you liked the video, we'd appreciate you giving it a thumbs up, or you could subscribe to our channel and have access to our complete library of how-to videos and other product demonstrations. Have a great day.